A warm greeting? Today is Sunday, September 8, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 8 p.m. local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we are monitoring two areas between the Caribbean and Africa, with chances of cyclonic development over the next seven days. But before talking about the forecast for these disturbances, I wanted to mention that in the Gulf of Mexico we have potential cyclone number 6 of the season, which is associated with Invest 91. It is projected to become Tropical Storm Francine, and then strengthen into a hurricane before reaching Texas or Louisiana during the afternoon or evening hours on Wednesday. If you want to know more details about the forecast for the future tropical storm Francine and its effects in the United States and Tamaulipas, I invite you to look for a video I recently recorded on my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's talk about the tropical Atlantic region. We are monitoring Invest 92, which has a high probability of becoming a tropical depression and tropical storm over the next seven days. Additionally, there is a low-pressure system located southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, which will be interacting with a strong tropical wave coming from Africa, and here too, another tropical cyclone could form. However, it is projected to maintain a path over the open waters of the Atlantic. In the latest outlook from the National Hurricane Center as of 8 p.m., the probabilities of development for Invest 92 increased to 70% while the probabilities for the low-pressure system southwest of the Cape Verde Islands remain at 50%. Conditions in the tropical Atlantic are favorable for development. First, sea surface temperatures remain extremely warm between the Caribbean and Africa, which can help the formation and strengthening of tropical cyclones. However, at the moment, the only impediment is the presence of dry and stable air towards the north and northwest of both low-pressure systems. This dry and stable air may influence the development and strengthening of both disturbances, although there is a high probability that both will become tropical cyclones. Now let's look at the projected tracks according to specialized and global models. Starting with Invest 92, you can see that all the models agree that it will maintain a west-northwest trajectory over the next five days, and it seems that it will pass just northeast of the Caribbean. For now, the consensus is that it will stay away from the Caribbean, but we need to remain vigilant because this is a long-term forecast, and changes can occur in the coming days. Now let's look at the global model's projections. Starting with the American model, the GFS, by Monday night, it develops a tropical depression, and you can see how it evolves into a tropical storm by midweek. Between Wednesday and Thursday, it has a tropical storm developing far east of the Lesser Antilles, while the next tropical wave begins interacting with the low pressure southwest of Cape Verde. By the end of the week, and between Saturday and Sunday, the latest run of the GFS model shows a hurricane passing about 150 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. For now, it's at a distant location from Puerto Rico but close enough that we should keep a close eye on any changes in the projections. On the other hand, the second disturbance appears to have a large circulation, and it seems it will continue its path over the open waters of the Atlantic. Now let's look at the European model's projections. Also on Monday night, it develops a tropical depression associated with Invest 92. Here's the low pressure near Cape Verde and the new tropical wave. Unlike the GFS model, the European model projects that Invest 92 could be a weak tropical depression or tropical storm, but then dissipates it by mid to late week, while the second disturbance strengthens into a powerful hurricane. Still, its trajectory stays far from the Caribbean. In fact, in today's afternoon run, it shows a Category 3 hurricane moving over the Atlantic waters. The German model also agrees with these projections, developing both disturbances. Invest 92 with a track passing just northeast of the Caribbean, while the second disturbance follows a trajectory over the open Atlantic waters. The UK projection shows a weak tropical depression or storm passing about 200 to 300 miles north-northeast of Puerto Rico over the weekend, with a strong tropical storm associated with the other tropical wave. But note that these tracks also stay far from the Caribbean. Although it seems for now that both disturbances won't pose a threat to the Caribbean, it's still worth remaining vigilant in case there are any changes, especially with Invest 92. For example, some GFS model members bring it closer to the northern Lesser Antilles. But also, notice that all members of the American model keep the next tropical wave on a far northern track. Compared to the European model projections, most of them dissipate Invest 92 within 2-3 to three days, while the other low-pressure system remains strong but over open waters in the Atlantic. There is a lot to watch over the coming days. Remember, there is no imminent risk for the Caribbean at the moment. And let's hope there are no significant changes in the projections, with both disturbances staying on a distant track from the Caribbean. However, long-term forecasts can change, which is why I ask those in the Eastern Caribbean to stay vigilant for updates from the National Hurricane Center. Well, that's it for this forecast update. Tomorrow, I will record new videos to talk about the future tropical storm Francine and the areas with development probabilities in the tropical Atlantic. To make sure you don't miss any videos, check if you're subscribed to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video and click the red button that says subscribe. 
then click the bell to receive notifications when I post new videos. Well, I'll sign off for now. I hope everyone has an excellent start to the week. See you tomorrow.